Welcome back. All about women's empowerment on this Wealth Wednesday. We are so honored of this gorgeous, gorgeous woman in the house. Andrea Callanan is in from, you're in from the UK. I'm in from the UK, from Wales. All right. She's a voice, confidence, and success coach, Inspire Me founder. Absolutely. What does that mean? What does a that mean? A voice success coach. Okay. So I started life as a singer, started life as a performer. I became a voice coach about 24 years ago. <laughs> 27. Yeah, I'm like, I'm 27, I was three. Um, really good skincare. Yeah. So um, I've been doing voice coaching for a long time. So, so for the most amount of time, I did that in the music industry mm -hmm. with singers and actors, um, and then moved into speakers and realised that um, so much of how we find our voice is internal, and that whole piece around your self worth, right. and around who you are, mm -hmm. and around your emotional well being, and around happiness. And I was a person who was born into a family where you know happiness wasn't a thing really so mm -hmm. I discovered my happiness through a journey as you do and so and um, by family you mean world so voice is so fascinating because uh, you know of course we're intrigued by great speakers yeah we love voice and in even yoga mantra when we get in there in kundalini they teach us that the voice and the mantra is really about finding your specific voice and loving it so profoundly and mm. building it and really that it's like one of the most spiritual tools we have it's, it's your frequency voice. Mm -hmm. it's your frequency so if you think about a sound wave your personal frequency i mean we, we emit our frequency don't we but at the same time your voice your audible frequency it's one of our primary ways of communicating mm. and i think finding your voice you know like knowing that i can listen to somebody speaking and i can tell what's going on for them emotionally and we, I can tell. We talked about so tell physically. us how can you tell what? Because you can hear the tension. It's all about mm -hmm. tension, yeah. So if you hear tension in somebody's voice, then and it's I guess it comes with experience, obviously. But you can hear, and I, I guess when you're an empath and you're intuitive and you've done light work and all the rest of it, and the voice work is fascinating for, because for me it's all about choice, and for me that's why the income streams that I have actually are all completely intertwined. So, you know, the way I started my corporate business was by taking singing into the workplace. And that's wow. how we create a workplace happiness, got returns on investment. Incredible. It's amazing. And it is to do with connecting because it makes you physically present. You know, it's all about mm -hmm. being present. Yeah. Oh, it's everything. How does a person start? You know, if they want to discover their voice, where do they start? Well, they start by making a noise, <laughs> you know, just make a noise. And, and it's really interesting, like on the way to the studio here, we were stuck in traffic. And one of the things we did was crank the music up really loud. We just started singing and dancing really loudly because you, it's, it's to do with, um, it's to do with a cellular level on how you feel. And most people aren't, should I say this? Most people aren't awake. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that we get awake is by getting present and physical. So one of the easiest ways to do that is by using your voice. Mm -hmm. So that's how you start. And then I guess it's to do with what you want to do with your voice. So once you have an intention, do you want to be a speaker? Do you want to be a singer? Are you, are you somebody who, who just needs more confidence and you need more self-worth and you need more gravitas in your voice? Are you a leader? And especially for women. I mean, women, it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. So fascinating. So when we were doing our session after you said, were you channeling what happened? Because your voice yeah. changed, you know, and it does. And I noticed that if I'm really grounded, yeah. then I come into a completely different voice than if I'm kind of like getting frazzled. Absolutely. And, and it, it really changes. But when I go into a Kundalini class, one of my favorite things is that we sing mantras the entire yeah. time. And you can't help but be in this ecstatic state by the time you walk out yeah. of there. Because you've just, this the vibration has just permeated every cell in your body. And so what do you do for people? How do you, do you have them warm up in their voice? How do you work with them to get in that so tone? If I'm doing it with businesses, if I'm going into organizations, we trick them into singing <laughs> we get them to breathe and sigh and then suddenly they're singing and they don't realize it and the endorphins that are released and the nitric oxide that flies around your body and all of this type of stuff so amazing for well-being mm -hmm. you know so we trick people into doing it but i guess for people who are serious about their voice and they're actually trying to develop their voice for some reason um the way that i start is actually through their emotions and through the, the their mindset and their self-worth piece is 80 percent internal for and twenty percent sure. physical, mm -hmm. and that's you know the positive psychology side of things. If you look at mindset, if you look at, I mean, my expertise is self worth. So if you, if you look at that and you look at the links of that with people with money, mm -hmm. with women giving themselves permission so true. to earn money and to step up and to own businesses and to be entrepreneurs and or even just to speak up mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be linked to wealth, but often it is. 
What about the different tones? You know, there's or different levels. You know, some women have higher voices, yeah. some women have lower voices, and it's shown that we are very masculine driven when we think of leaders. So yeah. women that have lower voices are seen more as leaders. What, what, how does that play into working with clients and what their true... So um, shall I do a demonstration for you? Yeah, let's so do I'll it. So I'll show you what, um, how I used to speak. Okay. So I come from a very small seaside town called Barry in South Wales, which is like this ravaged working class place. Nice. Ravaged working so, um, class place, I like that. So, and actually, James Corden wrote a, um, a television programme called Gavin and Stacey, which is set in Barry. OK, so if Late Late Show decides to watch this and they can do a shout out. So I used to speak like this. Hi, I'm Andrea. I come from Barry. This is how I talk. And my family talk like this. I talk really fast. I talk really high. It's really tense. There's a bright sound. And when I started to train as an opera singer, my singing teacher just knew that if I carried on producing sound like that, I wasn't going to do very well. And actually, I lost my voice for a whole year. I couldn't speak for a whole year. Wow. I had to wow. speak, which is one of the reasons why the voice is my expertise. And when she retaught me to speak, <laughs> she'd be like, darling, you, you need to lower your tone. And I'd be like, <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, and it's all to do with your breath. It's all to do with your tone. It's to do with being grounded, most definitely. You know, the stance for when you sing, when you're trained to sing, is both feet grounded on the floor, like you're super glued to the floor. You know, that rooting that you do in shamanic practice mm -hmm. where you do those rooting exactly like that. Your breath and your alignment is so important. It's so, so similar to Kundalini and mm -hmm. yoga and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think if you can, first of all, know what impact you're having, because it's about impact and influence, right? That's, that's what it all boils mm -hmm. down to. And having a voice that has gravitas, having a voice that has weight, having a voice where you, your voice carries and people listen, it's all teachable, all of it. Mm. And I believe, this is my method, I believe that you can't do it unless you do the internal work. Mm. Oh, completely. It's got to be the internal work first. And so loads of people will come to me for voice coaching and they get really confused. And I'll be like, no, no, you've got to do this work. And it's not for everybody. People don't want to go there sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. They're like, no, I just want a good voice. No, yeah, you need to do sing. Yeah. It's like, you can yeah. sing, but you're going to be either amazing or you're going to be just okay. And I if you're with me, that. you're going to be amazing. So I love it because it's such a niche and yet it is like everybody, everybody needs it because the voice is... It comes down to your self-worth, your connection to yourself, the connection to source, connection to everything. It's such a profound work. I want you in my life. <laughs> I'm in your life, you're, 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 It's fine. I'm not going anywhere. I'm like super glue, so it's fine. <laughs> love, so where can people find you? They can find me on andrewcallanan.com. They can find me, Andrew Callanan Voice, on Insta and on Facebook. Uh, Twitter, I'm Andrew underscore Callanan. And andinspiremy.com if they want to inspire their teams. So Thank you so much for inspiring us. You're so, so profound, welcome. Profound, yes. profound work. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.